Hey, what's going on guys? Master Luke 48 here, and today we are back playing Smashy Road Wanted 2, and today we are going to fully upgrade the 1967. Let's go ahead and take this car out for a test drive before we upgrade it so we can easily compare it to the fully upgraded version. Let's see how well this car does in a straightaway. Oh my goodness, the police cars are so much faster than us. Let's see how well this car handles. Oh my goodness, the handling is not that good on this car. Oh my goodness, our engine is already damaged. Oh my goodness, we're on fire right now. This car is really gonna need to improve in these upgrades. And now let's fully upgrade the 1967. Here is the first form of the car. Okay, the tires got a lot more thicker and the rims and the hubcaps and it seems like the wheel wells even changed a bit. That's pretty cool. The back maybe has gone a bit wider, I guess. It looks pretty good. Here is the next stage of the 1967 fully upgraded. Okay, the bumper at the back came out a bit near the rear tire, so I guess that's for some more aerodynamics. And this it still looks pretty good. Not much change though in this stage. Here is the 1967 fully upgraded. Okay, we have a little spoiler at the back and we also have a hood topper, so that's pretty cool. To be honest, not much else changed. It still looks pretty good though. Let's go ahead and take the 1967 out for a test drive. Here we go, driving through the city. Let's see the handling here. Okay, the handling has actually improved quite a bit. We aren't sliding that much. We have a lot of control. This is very sharp steering. Let's see here on a straightaway. Oh, the cops are still able to catch up to us. Still, this car has improved a lot with the speed, I will say. Okay, our engine is starting to have some problems, and I think the durability improved a little bit, but not by a crazy amount. I think I would rate the 1967 a 4 out of 10. The speed is actually pretty decent for a common car, but the cops are still able to catch up to us in the long run. The handling is good, we aren't sliding that much, and we are actually uh, uh, making pretty sharp turns. Um, but, I mean, sometimes we do get loose because some of the bigger police cars can still push us around, but uh, the speed to steering ratio is also pretty good. The durability is not good on this car. A couple, I think like two major hits on like a building or a big truck and our engine is already having problems. Uh, but I mean, it is a small car and it is a common, but it still is not that durable. The looks for this car are pretty good. I think it got good points there. It wasn't anything crazy of an upgrade. It didn't get any major visual improvements. I mean, the hood topper maybe in the spoiler, but other than that, it still looks pretty cool. But I will say this is one of my favorite cars in Smashy Road, even if it's not the best. I just love the old fashioned look of this car. Just look how cool this car. Yeah, I feel bad for giving it a four. You know what? This car is a nine out of 10. 9.5 out of 10. You know what? I, I just, it's just one of my favorite cars. Even though it's bad, sometimes you just gotta appreciate the little things in Smash Hero. It doesn't need to actually do well, it just needs to be your favorite. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you have, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future Smashy Road Wanted 2 content. If there are any other cars you would like to see me fully upgrade, then please leave your suggestion down below. Other than that, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!